Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, if you look careful on how Kenya Kwanza is playing its politics, you are going to learn that there is a serious, clear strategy by William Samay Ruto side to make sure that politically speaking, they are finishing Salem Dabadi after this August election. Now, I'm saying this because look at this. Mselem Dabadi, after he joined William Samuel Ruto to form Kenya Kwanza, the first thing, he lost key players in ANC party. Bishop Hamala, who was ANC chairman in Kakamega, who happened to be Kakamega town member of parliament, Alienda. Tindi Mwale, the Buteda member of parliament, Alienda. Asaka Miradi, the Kuisero member of parliament, a very powerful individual around Mselem Dabadi, Alienda. Then Oscar Nablindo, the Matungu member of parliament, out. All of them left Musalem Dabadi. And therefore, Musalem Dabadi has remained with the upper hill task to make sure that he is getting numbers. But Ruto is using every means possible to keep Musalem Dabadi busy so that he's not concentrating in the western region to make sure that he is getting back the numbers he has lost. <laughs> and I'm going to explain to you how Ruto is keeping Muslim David busy. And the way Muslim David is going to lose in a big way after this election. But before we go deep into that, just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but are not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time... Once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who do comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, look at this. The first thing Ruto has given himself is about 70% delivery for him to fulfill the 30% of the government. Secondly, Ruto has made sure to keep Musala Mudabad busy across the entire country so that Mudabadi does not have even a single minute to concentrate on Western region votes. Every time that, like, if you look at today, this team is in Kiambu, Mudabadi, Wetangula. Okay, Wetangula issue is different. Because if you look on Watangula, he does not show the ambition to become the president. But to some extent, Salem Dabadi, if well organized, he can one time become the president. But Ruto is doing everything possible to disorganize Salem Dabadi. That's why we are focusing on Dabadi. They have been all around in Mount Kenya region, moving across the entire country, county to county. Nyeri, you go to Nyandarwa. You go to Kirinyaga, you go to everywhere in Mount Kenya region. And then they go to uh, Lower Eastern, Wanaenda Kule Machakos County, Wanaenda Kule Lift Valley, Nakuru, Trans, uh, Bungoma, not Bungoma actually, um, Wasingishu County. They are moving across the entire country with a wounded person like Msalem David. Why? Ruto is keeping Musalem Dabad busy. And another thing Ruto has done, he has gone further to organize his team led by the Mumias East Member of Parliament, Ben Washali. In fact, Ben Washali was instructed to drop his Member of Parliament B. He is not running for any office. Just to concentrate on helping William Samuel Ruto to get UDA numbers in Western. Why they stopped him? So he is leading, Ben Washali is leading UDA in Western region. Then Bonnie Kalwale is also there and Rashid Echesa. They have been given enough money to facilitate UDA candidates in Western region. So this is the team working for William Ruto in Western. And in the real station, the person who was supposed to lead this was supposed to be Senator uh, Cleophas Malala, who is running for the governor of Kakamega. But because Malala is an ANC member, 
Ben Washali has been given this responsibility. So Mdavadi has been kept busy hovering around the country. And the UDA have a strong strategy on the ground to get numbers so that Mdavadi will not have time to go and consolidate Vihiga, Kakamega, Bungoma, Transoya, Busia. He's kept busy in Nairobi there somewhere. Busy, busy in, Azimi, in Kenya Kwanza issues. Yet Mdavad was supposed to be in Western to make sure that when Bishop Hamala left, who is the right person to compete him? How is he helping that person? When Tindi Mwale left, who is the right person to compete and how is he helping that person? When Aseka Mirad left, who is there to enter into that shoes and bring the seat back to ANC? Oscar Nablin, the same. Mudavadi is blindly following William Root. Because if I ask, what value is Msele Mudavadi adding to William Samuel Ruto by going with him to Madira constituents? Kule kwa Gashagu. What value is Msele Mudavadi adding by going to Nyeri? To William Ruto. Because after all, Ruto has convinced the people of Mount Kenya region, those who want to follow him, they will follow him. They are not going to vote for William Ruto because Mdavad is convincing them. No. The people of Kiambu, where they are today, they will not vote for William Ruto because Mdavad is convincing them. No. At least in Nairobi, it adds some value because Mdavad is there to talk to the Luya community so that the lawyers will see him around William Ruto and they can have a second thought if really they will vote for Ruto or they have to stick with Baba. At least that is making sense. But these areas where Raila is going, where um, Ruto is going to with Musala Mudavadi, there is no value Mudavadi is adding to that ticket. William Ruto understands that. But why is he carrying him there? Keep Musala Mudavadi busy and uh, do your work beside his back, without his knowledge, and when he will wake up, he will find UDS member of parliament in Western, everywhere, and ANC is going to lose in a huge way. Because if you look at the scenario of Kakamega County, maybe ANC might get two, three, or even one seat there. But remember they heard about, is it six or what? Some good number of elected leaders. Because Ruto knew that possibilities of winning the Kakamega governor seat is going to be hard. He easily convinced Musala Mudavadi to give him the Senate seat. And Mudavadi blindly gave the Senate seat to William Samuel Ruto. Graciously. <laughs> and I can tell you, Judea party is in a better position to fairly compete for Kakamega senator seat. There is a possibility Bonika Luale will be voted in. Sasa kiti ya senate nyilikuwa ya ANC, Ruta naenda kimbia nayo. Mdabadi ameachua governor, and that seat, if you look at it, how Fernandez brother is coming with the Ayub Savula. It is an upper hill task for Senator Wetang, Senator Klefas Malala to clinch the senator seat in Kakamega. It is going to be very hard. Maybe a miracle happen. So ANC, if it's not careful, the real person who want to leave ANC to be a shell after this election, it is not Raila Odinga. It is William Samuel Ruto. He has a clear plan for that. And yes, the plan is working. Because I know ANC has an injury, a big injury. And the best way to heal this injury was from Salem David to concentrate in the Western region. So that at the end of the day, he can recover the MPs who went. He come to Vihiga, work on Vihiga so that he can get more elective seats, go to Busia where ODM has more roots there, so that he can get more seats. But that is not happening. And that's why even Ruto has gone further to plant UDA candidates in Sabatia. Kwa village ya Msala Mdavadi, Nyumbani. And 
the reason why you have been hearing a noise from Manala, it is because Manala has realized how UDA is properly working on ANC across Western region. That's why Manala was complaining about UDA in Kakamega and UDA in Sabatia, Bungoma, Transoya, Busia. So this is a clear strategy Ruto has because Ruto understands that after 2022, we'll have 2027 and 2032. If Mdabad will add more numbers, then they might not be in the same camp because Raila might not run in 2027. And even if he ran in 2027, 2032 he will not be there. He will be at home Akikana Wajuku because he will be a retired president. Therefore, there might not be any other law who can come to Western to convince lawyers to vote for him. Hmm. And Ruto is looking for that chance so that after Raila exiting from Western region politics going home, he will take over graciously using the members of parliament he's going to be they are going to be elected in Western on UDA ticket. So that Ruto will have more numbers in Western compared to what Musalam Dabad will have in ANC. And there is one thing Ruto realized. If Musalam Dabad was going to work with the Raila Amolo Odinga, possibilities of ANC numbers increasing was there. Tick. Because first time he was with Raila, he got 14 members of parliament and in total, he had 16 elective seats. Ukeka is still as a woman rep, the senators, the members of parliament. 16 elective seats. Ukiwangaza zile nominations, walikuwa napata up to 18 leaders. Ma MCS walikuwa wengi. If Mdabad was with Raila Odinga, I'm telling you, ANC right now, as we are speaking, Many people will go for ANC ticket. And they were going to win without any problem. Because ANC will be seen as a sister party. But what is happening now? ANC is dying. And they are going to lose numbers. So there is nothing Mdabad is gaining from William Ruto. But Ruto has a lot to harvest by playing with Mr. Mdabad. I don't know what to think about this. But that's my view. Otherwise, thank you so much and see you in our next video.